Hello ladies and gentlemen, hello my friend, Hugo Jacome on the microphone. And I have a lot of things to share with you today. Uh, for probably a good 20 to 25 minutes because I have many topics I want to share with you about our news, what's going on with our podcast, with our um, YouTube channel and different projects around Sotoyal Talks. But first of all, I would like to start with a surprise because as you know now, if you are following this podcast since, uh, since a while or our YouTube channel, you know that uh, we have the privilege to use original music composed by a fantastic film composer from Los Angeles, Justin Mellon, our friend Justin. Hello, Justin. I hope you're listening to this podcast. He's a very talented musician who had an enormous success recently on some of the major uh, hits on Netflix. Uh, he's been nominated twice in the Academy Awards. And so it's a high privilege for us to have this original music. And we have one project with him I'm going to um, uh, talk to you about later in this show. But we received also recently a surprise. And a surprise from, from a very young uh, lady from the UK. I think she's 16 or 17. Uh, we know her father. And her name on Instagram is, I, I have to check, it's Arnonima Music. Arnonima Music. A-R-N-O-N-Y-M-A music and she's 16 year old and she's an upcoming DJ and musician and she uh, played with our voice she's been recording our podcast and she did something hilarious and more than hilarious I think it's very talented and I want to share you an original composition by her which uh, uses our sample of our voices and it's called It's Ridiculous and please listen to that for 30 seconds. Hello. They, they wanted to dress up when they went out. They didn't see it as a choice. But then our generation, you know, they wore the what? Those like shorts that come down to your knees. And It's ridiculous. Um, with a lot of the, po the oh, the camouflage cargo shorts. <laughs> That's the worst. And then my the personal enemy. And It's ridiculous. Um, Isn't it talented, honestly? Well, I promise you at the end of this show, you will be able to listen to the full track. But I want to thank, I think it's Arnia, I'm not sure of her name, but her address in Instagram once again is Arno Nima Music. And uh, she's very talented, 16 year old, and she's able to do that. So thank you very much. It was a nice surprise. And I think that uh, this uh, can be maybe one of the hits for the next summer. Well, the summer is behind us. We don't really care, but it's really, really, thank you so much for this present. Now, I want to talk to you about something that m many of you are waiting for since a long time. So if you follow uh, our Instagram, Parisian, Parisian, underscore gentleman is my Instagram or Sonia Glynn uh, for Sonia. You probably know that at last our book on shoes, it was called Soulier in French. I have one exemplary here. I'm going to try to catch it. It's a little bit heavy, but I'm going to show it to you. You know this book probably very well. Uh, it's a big book and, and look, you can't see me behind it. Okay, this book, which is a, a very heavy book, had a lot of success in France. It was due normally to be published in English uh, in April of 2020, but of course with the COVID crisis, with uh, all the problems we had and with the economy, we were confined in the USA with Sonia, we were not able to finish the translation and my publisher had to postpone uh, the publication publication of the English version of this book and I know that many of you are waiting for it. So now it's official my friends. The book is in printing 
right now. And it's going to be, uh, we're going to receive it normally uh, at the end of September, uh, let's say mid-October to be sure, because you know these days with the COVID-19 problem, we can't be sure of any kind of schedule or delay. But let's say mid-October, it, it will be available. The thing is that we decided for this book, to print as a first printing uh, only 1,000 copy of an original edition. Each book will be numbered because we consider that the book and the work that my photographer, our photographer Andy Julia did in this book was so exceptional that it deserved this limited edition. So it's pretty much the same edition as the French edition except there's two additional chapters, the color is a little bit different and it's, uh, it's going to be an absolutely beautiful book. So in this book and I I want to, um, to, to, you to be aware that um, uh, as we print only 1,000 copies for the first printing, yeah, probably we'll have a second and a third printing, I hope, but for the first printing, we um, set up a pre-order system. And so far, we already received 450 pre-orders out of 1,000 copies. So it means that if you want to make sure to have this uh, first printing uh, in October, you will have to pre-order it. The price of the book is $99 plus shipment. So probably around $20 to $30 for the shipment, depending if you live uh, close to us or in Australia. Or I even received, uh, he will recognize himself I guess, an order from the Falkland Islands. So I don't know how we're going, if DHL is delivering there, but we're going to do our best. So you will have, if you want to make sure to secure your copy of your book, you have to send an email to this address. So if you're on YouTube, we're going to write it on the screen, hugo at parisiangentleman.fr. If you're listening to this podcast, it's hugo, H-U-G-O, it's me, at Parisian gentleman, one gentleman, a n at the end, dot f r for, for France. You go at Parisian gentleman, dot f r and you just say, I'd like to secure my copy of Shoes, and the title of the book is The Art of Male Footwear that will be released in October and sent to your door. The price is $99 plus shipping, so probably around 120, something like that, a little bit more, depending on where you live. To give you an overview of the book, once again, if you're on the podcast, I will just give you some names and a little bit of story, and if you're looking at it on YouTube, we can show a few pictures of the few pages of the book. But we are featuring in this uh, marvelous book, I say marvelous not about the writing, because it's not, I'm not the one to judge about the quality of the writing, uh, I co-signed this book with my wife. It's not only me, huh? it's Hugo Jacome and Sonia Glynn and photography by Andy Julia. Uh, we, are, we dedicated 25 chapters to what we consider to be among the top 25 shoemakers in the world. And you will discover in this book that most of uh, those shoes are probably among the most beautiful shoes in the world. So we have, uh, of course, some English shoes from the Northamptonshire, which is the cradle of beautiful shoes. We have uh, shoes from George Cleverley uh, with his suspiciously square toes. You know, these very famous shoes from George Cleverley, which is an iconic brand in Great Britain. Uh, Edward Green also in Northampton, fantastic shoemaking, the heritage of John Lustig and his um, uh, um, partner in life, Hilary Freeman. She's still running the show. High quality shoes. Uh, Crockett and Jones, of course, which is um, a staple in every, it should be, everybody should have a pair of Crockett and Jones in his uh, cabinet because it's a fantastic brand. And of course, our friend Tony Gaziano and Dean Gerling, who are making, a, according to me, I mean, for me, they are making among the most refined and interesting shoes in England. Then in France we have uh, a real hall of fame of all this. Most of them are compagnons du de devoir. You know this uh, league of artisans who are doing their Tour de France uh, moving from master to master. Of course we have our friend Stéphane Jiménez, uh, which is one of my favorite shoemakers in the world. Pierre Cortet, of course, who can not think about Pierre Corté? He brought so much into the place, into the plate, sorry, of French shoemaking. Uh, Pierre Corté was one among the first to show to his colleague that shoemaking was not only just a blue-collar work, it was something that can add glamour and elegance in the world. 
We have also, of course, a chapter on Berluti, which is an icon in France for bespoke um, uh, shoemaking. But now also uh, they, they have a global brand. Uh, we have a chapter on Philippe Atienza, Atienza, which is maybe a lesser known man. I mean, there's a very important man. He was the head of the John Lum bespoke uh, back in the years. And he, he also directed um, uh, Massaro, who was producing shoes for men and women. Very incredible, interesting artisan located in the famous Viaduc des Arts. In Paris, we have a chapter, of course, on John Lomb Paris, which is probably one of the most interesting and the most complete and the most, uh, how do you say that? In John Lomb in Paris, Rue de Mogador, uh, you have, uh, you know, we have titles in front, Best Craftsman in France, or even the Knight of um, the Arts and Letters, the uh, high distinction from the government. And in this team, you have many people of that quality. John Lomb in Paris, of course, our national jewel, J.M. Weston in Limoges, which is in the suburb of Paris, probably one of the most beautiful factories, shoe factories, a traditional shoe factory in the world. And a new chapter chapter that was not included in our the French edition. Uh, it's about Atelier du Tranché uh, by Christophe Corté and Christophe Algans. Everybody knows him like Toulouse. Uh, two companions who are making shoes that, uh, well, in my opinion, they are making more sculptures that masquerade into shoes. These people are really avant-garde. They are really creating one of the most stupendous shoes in the world. In Italy, we'll pay a visit in this book to, of course, Stefano Bemer, one of the big names of the Italian style, and then also Enzo Bonafè. What a beautiful house. Enzo Bonafè in Bologna. Uh, Enzo, and I think Enzo is 18, 85 year old. He's such a sweet man, um, working every day at his table, cutting leather with passion uh, alongside his wife, Garina and his um, son and his daughter. Uh, Bontoni, our friend from Bontoni, the Gazzani family in Montegranaro, another cradle of Italian shoemaking. And then we have a chapter on Antonio Meccariello, the wild child of shoemaking, close to Naples, a very sweet guy with extraordinary shoes. And our friend Paolo Scafora in Cassandrino, close to Napoli. And then we will go, um, so you, we were in England, we were in France, we were in Italy, and we go around the world. We'll go in, uh, in with this book in Barcelona, uh, meeting Norman Villalta, very creative shoemaker originally uh, from Patagonia, Argentina. And then a new chapter who's not in the French book, uh, Patrick Fry in Germany. Such an interesting character. Patrick Fry was, um, the, um, I think he was a jiggler, he was an artist in the street in South America and he, he fell in love with leather work and it's very, very interesting story and uh, such a good artisan. Uh, also a chapter, of course, on Laslovas. Laslovas from Hungary. One of the, it's an important name now, Laslovas, because, because he was a, a pioneer in the world of made-to-order shoes. And you can still have handmade shoes by Laslovas for a very decent price. And then we continue into this with St. Crispin, with a showroom in Vienna, and this famous factory, everything's handmade in Romania, um, by our friend Philip Carr. Hello, Philip, how do you do? Uh, also, the people from Maftai, Maftai, I don't know if you, we pronounce Maftai, Maftai, they, they are in Vienna and in Romania, in Bucharest also, great shoemakers. Our friend from Kielman in Poland, and of course, uh, Kielman in Poland, uh, very interesting family saga. Honestly, um, these are the people, they even crafted boots for an unknown colonel back in 1920 called Charles de Gaulle, and this very pair of boots is still in their catalogue today. Jan Kilman, they are uh, shoemakers from father to son since five or six generations, incredible family. And of course, we will go to Japan to see the rising star, the rising stars of shoemaking. Yohei Fukuda, one of the most talented shoemaker of today, uh, but also Thai shoemaker, T-Y-E, incredible people who are making, I think, 60 pairs of shoes uh, per year. This is something very small, extremely interesting, and one of my favorites. And also Masaru Okuyama, I hope I pronounce it well, which is Japanese, but his, his shop is in Hong Kong. So it's just to give you an idea of this book. This is a huge work that my photographer Handy did. My wife helped me to put this book together. So it's called Shoes, the Art 
of male footwear. We only print 1,000 copies. Uh, this, book may, this book may well be sold out before publication. So if you are interested in receiving your copy, please don't lose one minute. Send an email to hugo at parisiangentleman.fr. Uh, you can go on our Instagram page also, parisian underscore gentleman, only one gentleman, A-N at the end. Uh, you can shoot us um, a direct message. Well, find a way to get in contact with us so that we can secure your copy. That was for the book. Uh, it's normally scheduled, I would say. We will receive it end of September, but let's say mid-October to be sure, because we never know now with all the delays due to the coronavirus crisis. Another point I want to share with you now, it's about our Patreon page. You may or may not know uh, that we launched uh, a little bit more than one year ago, I think 13 months ago, this Patreon page. Patreon is a kind of a, it's, it's not your usual crowdfunding system. Patreon is a system that uh, allows people like us, who are content creator, who are um, um, artists or musicians, or uh, like we do, content creator, to ask their public to support them. And then for us, it was important to, to initiate this process because we wanted to go closer to our public and a bit further from the brand. because you understand that for a channel like us to survive, now we produce probably one show a week in two languages plus podcast plus our books plus everything we need to make money we don't live only by uh, the air of the time you know and uh, we say in France on ne vit pas uniquement d'amour et de fraîche we, we don't live only with love and fresh water we need to make some deals we need to make some partnerships so we did some partnership with highly curated brands but now we want to go more and more with our public directly it's a matter of freedom of expression for it's a matter of um, you know getting rid of all our uh, our our ties so that we can really express ourselves and continue to preach for a more elegant world. So uh, if you want to support us, uh, uh, you have to go to Patreon p a t r e o n dot com slash Sotoyal Talks. Uh, this is the title of this podcast and our YouTube channel. And you will see you can subscribe from a few dollars to a few hundred dollars depending on what kind of involvement you want to have uh, with us. You're going to have for that some additional content, but mostly you're going to have the pleasure to support us uh, in our quest to create a more elegant world. Uh, our promise when we decided to do this Patreon page was to say, okay, if we reach a certain level, uh, we're going to buy new equipment. And if we reach another certain level, we were fixing this level at 500 people, we're going to install at home uh, a real um, broadcast studio. And the good news is that we did it. And we did it in much faster than in our wildest dream because we are very stable around 240, between 240 and 260 patrons. And thanks to the, your contribution, we were able, and we're going to show it to you if you look at YouTube, if you listen to this podcast, uh, we can tell you we just bought with our co producer, Cosmas Kokaris from Greece. We grouped our effort, and thanks to the Patreon budget, we were able to switch to a real broadcast quality with Blackmagic camera. And we are shooting now with three 6K cameras that are state-of-the-art. We are literally at a broadcast level. We were able also to, uh, to buy a switcher. It's called, it's called ATEM, A-T-E-M, uh, Mini Pro uh, ISO, where I don't want to go. I'm going to show you a little bit. It's like a professional switcher. Now you are literally in our home. It's a TV set. When people come and visit us, they don't understand. They think they're going to visit a normal home. And actually, our home now is a TV production set. So uh, as we promised with our with your donation on Patreon, we managed to do that. And our last things that we received yesterday, can you believe that, is this fantastic microphone I'm speaking on now. I hope you like the sound. It's uh, Electro Voice RE20, which is the absolute standard in radio and in TV and in broadcast since 1968. You know, th this is what I like. It's this mix of new technology and uh, of staples of production. So thank you, patrons. This is very important for us. We uh, took the, we, were, we committed with you that if you were helping us with your donation, monthly donation, we were able to install a studio. This is done now. The next step for us now will be to upgrade maybe with a slider, with some additional light, 
website, but now we are ready to broadcast uh, from here, anywhere around the world in the broadcast quality. And we thank you so much for that. Uh, last thing, our podcast is, um, is very successful. Uh, we are more and more people, so please help us. The only thing we miss on podcasts, you know, the podcast crowd is a very different crowd. You have to subscribe, you have to download our podcast. And so uh, we need some reviews, you need some star rating. If you really like our content, please help us, just rate. If you like it, oh, if you don't like it, rate it also. But I hope that if you look, listen to it, you like it. So it's important for us to rate. And we have a last project and uh, with Justin Melan. But before telling you about this project, uh, I'm going to put a little bit of music because Justin didn't only compose the main theme of Sotoyal Talks, but he composed um, also some incredibly beautiful tracks. And we have the project to maybe put on the market, it's not for money, it's just for the beauty of the gesture, a vinyl, Uh, maybe a 195 gram, you know, a high-level vinyl with a beautiful um, 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 uh, packaging uh, that will be the soundtrack of Sotorial Talk. Once again, it's not for the money. We're going to maybe sell this for, I don't know, $40, $45, just to finance. We want to uh, do a, not a digital, but an analogical mastering that it was done in the 1970s, you know, just doing something beautiful to listen to this kind of music. Uh, here is just a little bit of a... Uh, an abstract. This is, for example, a piano piece composed by Justin for us. I'll leave you with Justin for 30 seconds. What is really interesting with what Justin did for us is every single piece of music is played by a real musician. The opening piece is played by a real violinist and cellist, and the piano is played by him. Listen to this beauty. Stunning music, honestly. And then uh, I know he did the piece also with a with a cello, which is absolutely fantastic. Listen to that. of music has a title. I think this one is called The Craftsman. The other one is called Perfect Light. This is beautiful. Can you believe all this has been composed and it's a, a, this ideal uh, soundtrack for Sotorial Talk. So we have this project. Once again, uh, we have no idea. You know, you have to have a turntable. We know more and more people are interested in buying high quality um, vinyls. Once again, no money involved here. We just want to produce something the old-fashioned way, bespoke. Uh, we found in Los Angeles a digital, an analogical studio while still doing the mastering uh, in the old manner. And uh, if you are interested, maybe we, need, we will produce, I don't know, 100, 150 albums. So if you are interested in that, just shoot us uh, an email at you go at parisiangentleman.fr. Contact us through Instagram or on our Facebook group. Anyway, you're going to find different channels to contact us. So thank you for listening. These are the updates I wanted to share with you about the book, about the podcast, about the YouTube channel, about the Patreon page. Uh, if you want to help us, please do it. And I can't resist to finish this special show today 
when I'm alone without, I miss my wife actually, she's upstairs, uh, but she's preparing some nice show for later. We're gonna listen to the whole track composed, imaging uh, with the sample of our voice by this young artist and DJ. She's 16 year old, she's great. She's from uh, England. I don't know exactly where, in Westminster, England, I guess. Is Her name on Instagram is Arno Nima Music. A-R-N-O-N-Y-M-A Music. I hope you find her. If you don't find her, just let us know. And this track is called Ridiculous. Here we go. They wanted to dress up when they went out. They didn't see it as a choice. But then our generation, you know, they wore the what? Those like shorts that come down to your knees. And it's ridiculous. Um, with a lot of the pot, oh, the, oh, the camouflage cargo shorts. <laughs> That's the worst. And then my the personal enemy. And it's ridiculous. Um, generation you know they wore the what those like shorts that come down to your knees and it's ridiculous um, with a lot of the pot oh, the, oh camouflage cargo shorts <laughs> that's the worst and then my the, personal enemy you know the sandal the desert sandals and uh, the the muscle shirts and it's ridiculous. Um, and just oh we just lost that whole uh, feeling of elegance for an entire generation. And you understand that there's a huge paradox here. I wanted to let it the whole track because it's, it's great, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> 